Hi guys, I am basically going to be trying out this new Magic Gel Polish Remover from Lily Angel. Um, it has been making the rounds on the internet, so I thought let me try it out for myself and actually see how it works. So I've read all the instructions at the back of the bottle. Um, they basically just tell you how to use the product and so on. Um, I'm going to try it out on this gel polish set that i have on for about two weeks now so um i'll go ahead and start um they say you need to buff a file of the neck scrubbing it quickly and then i'm going to apply the gel polish remover um as per instruction it says you need to apply the polish remover on your nail bed on the gel polish and far away or not on your skin as you can see as I'm applying it it, it looks cracked um, it looks like broken glass or something it looks jelly jellyish or something uh, so I'm gonna put more second layer then I'm gonna put a layer on this nail if you can see I'm not really sure how much to put so I'm just gonna do two layers um, on each nail and see so I'm supposed to wait for five minutes um, for the gel to start cracking and lifting so I've just applied on my two nails as you can see um, I'm already seeing some cracks on the first nail that I've applied on. Let's have a look. There, you can see it's already lifting. You can see it's already lifting on the sides. So you can see, have a look. Wow. It hasn't been a minute, but I'm already seeing the gel lift. However, there's this burning sensation that I'm feeling to my nail it feels um, it's burning almost like when you when you're using builder gel it feels the same way I've actually tried it on my thumb just a few minutes ago and it was very burning but the burning sensation that I'm feeling right now is not the same compared to what I felt on my thumb so I'm thinking was it because it's the first very first time I'm using the product I'm not sure what that is about but I am seeing um, the gel crack up and lift as you can see oh my word it's literally coming off by itself so I'm not sure I'm um, it's been five minutes so what I'm gonna do is use my cuticle pusher and actually scrub it off there is it coming off oh my word it actually is coming off um, I'm not sure what that burning or the pinching sensation is about uh, but it's coming off now Let me try okay but it's coming off more on the sides than on the middle Let's see how easy it comes off it's coming off okay but here on the middle it's still a bit tight I need to use a little bit of force but it is coming off there we go okay this nail is a, a little bit tight so what I'm gonna do is apply another layer and see what happens I'm just gonna put a little bit more and wait out the five minutes okay let's see what happens I can still feel the burning sensation but this time around it's a little bit um, softer or lighter than the previous so 
I'm just gonna wait out and see. It's actually also starting to lift, so it's perking up and lifting. Okay, but the thing is, I'm not waiting for the five minutes. I think it's a little bit too early, but it is coming off, so why wait? There we go. It's off. So that is basically how you use the gel polish remover. Okay, I have tried the product and um, in my opinion, my review is that it's actually not bad. Um, I'm not sure what the burning sensation is about and what damages that can cause, but um, I'll keep using the product and should there be any changes or anything that I notice, um, I'll definitely do another follow-up video just to give you an update. But so far, um, it did what it was supposed to do it actually uh, started cracking and removing the gel within um two minutes i'd say so um it's a bit faster than what i anticipated so i would give it a thumbs up for now until um, i'm just gonna keep using the product and should there be anything i will definitely let you know thank you